Well, tonight we investigate how a Cleveland woman seemingly vanished from her home more than two years ago. Her name is Marsha Bradley, and we have an emotional plea from her family this evening. It's a family kept in the dark about her death for almost a year. WDEF News' Alicia Searle has the disturbing details in tonight's cold case report. It's been more than two years since Marsha Brantley felt that fall breeze rustle through her wind chime and then her hair. Two years since these meticulous hands touched her flower bed or favorite book here on her front porch. I don't believe that she is still among us. I, I think she's in heaven. Suddenly, any sense of peace you got from one of life's little luxuries is gone. Friends and family need to know where is Marsha Brantley. This published author is best described as private, maybe a little reserved, but never impulsive. She loved to hike, she loved the outdoors, and she loved Donnie. She loved her husband. And she spoke about that frequently. In fact, that's really all we talked about. The usual topic of Marsha's conversations was her husband of nine years, Donnie Brantley. That was until she vanished in June of 2009. She wouldn't just take off. Kelly DeLude was Marsha's hairdresser for several years and one of the first to notice she was missing. It's been very sad. It's been very hard because um, I don't have a good feeling about it in my heart. Those gut feelings led her and Marsha's neighbors to ask Donnie one very important question. Where is Marsha? His response, according to the TBI, is she left me. Well, I saw no indication of that. Uh, and we saw no indication of that in her blogs or on Facebook. Actually, it was quite the opposite. This entry made by Marsha shortly before she disappeared said, I love you more than I ever thought possible. And our investigation found no divorce filings for the two in Bradley County. Overgrown grass and no sign of Donnie Brantley. Marsha's family members tell us he stopped coming around as soon as they started handing out these flyers. We caught up with Marsha's aunt from North Carolina by phone. Her husband did not report her missing, will not help us look for her. Medra Justice says he has always done a good job isolating Marsha from her family. This is this just this beating on us. We, we, we need to know what happened to her. Right around the same time Marsha went missing, Donnie's handyman business here in Cleveland went under. And we found at least one business nearby in which he still owes money to. It leaves family members to wonder, did money play a part in Marsha's mysterious disappearance? She was left some money, and that seems to be the root of all evil. Nearby business owners tell us Donnie said, quote, Marsha left me and is living in our cabin in Pigeon Forge. But to a neighbor, he gave a slightly different story. Marsha went out west to live with friends. And what happened to the family camper? It's now missing. Well, I feel that if that camper could be found, there is possibly evidence in the camper. So now family members are calling on you. Can you bring Marsha back to the home she once adored? In Bradley County, Alicia Searle, WDF News 12. Family members raised $5,000 as a reward for any information on this case. They're asking Governor Bill Haslam to match that amount. Now, if you have any information on this case, please contact the TBI.